Welcome to Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu. I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is Mario Massetti. He's a photographer based in Southern California, and he's got a new resource for you. If you're a portrait photographer, listen up. This is amazing. It's called the Modern Portraits Master Course, and it is filled with such amazing amazing things that you're going to need for the next year you have to listen up for this conversation hey welcome to the welcome to the program my friend thanks for having me man you know i built it up so much i gotta tell you uh i'm excited because of uh, all the things you've been doing i've been watching what you've done with your resources with your courses and finally you've brought it all under one roof one program um explain to us uh first of all what you've done and why. Yeah, definitely. I, uh, you know, I started making uh, these mini courses and I, I realized that there were, uh, there was an opportunity to kind of make a larger course that um, kind of walks through the business life of a photographer. And so I wanted mm. to tackle, you know, five main areas that I think a photographer needs to focus on to really um, better their images and grow their business. And so the master course contains, you know, those five modules that um, a photographer can go through and, and really improve um, kind of all aspects of what they're doing. So talk to us about those five modules. What are they? What exactly does somebody get when they buy the Modern Portraits Master Course? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the five modules include uh, lighting, posing, editing, marketing, and sales. And so I place them in that order because it's the order that I believe is the most important for a photographer to first create, you know, really engaging and dynamic images and then be able to market them and then finally be able to sell them to their clients. So I wanted to create this kind of logical process that a photographer should go through um, to start their, their business. Awesome. Now, you're a portrait photographer, but would this be something that a wedding photographer might find useful as well? Yeah, I mean, I think I think any sort of photographer who photographs people, I think, will definitely find um, beneficial areas for the course, mm -hmm. um, especially things like the marketing course, which is really great for um, any type of photographer, really. Um, and certainly in the um, editing and sales and even the posing, I mean, those can all be applicable to wedding photographers as well. Let's do a little bit of a rewind, shall we? Like, talk to us about your background. What is it that brings you to this point where you are able to teach people uh, everything that you know? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I've been a full-time photographer for eight years now, and I've been teaching for just under five. And so um, when I started the Sessions with Mario brand last year, um, I basically wanted to combine my own personal business experience along with the experience that I've done with helping other photographers at conventions and the one-on-ones that I do. And so I kind of wanted to create this um, culmination of all this information that I've learned and taught into a package that can be, you know, purchased by anybody online. So uh, that was that was the goal. Awesome. Hey, listen, you've got five, five different, I guess, sub-courses in one course. Which one was the most fun to do for you? Oh. <sighs> That's a good question. You know, I really like I really like the posing course. Uh, is definitely my favorite. Um, I think uh, the videos that go along with it are so great. I think photographers being visual people, it's so great to see how to work with your clients and and how um, how I work with my clients. I think that photographers just really appreciate having that kind of up close and behind the scene view of it. You know, one of the things I, uh, I'm going to take away from the, the video clips you've actually shared on your page uh, for the course, um, I've noticed uh, one thing, obviously the beautiful models that you worked with, but uh, it was also the way you work with them. I mean, particularly the way you approach them uh, is, is, is so, so real, right? So yep. I, I, the, there's one in particular where I, I, I remember – uh, you've actually walked around a model almost 360 degrees. And yep. I think this is something that you tell people, don't yep. just sit uh, uh, with one angle, one perspective, move. Yep. And this is this is a, a great takeaway. I mean, for me, I have to remind myself all the time, whether it's a, a commercial gig or if it's a, a casual photograph even, I 
am not ever staying in one one spot. I mean, I'm always moving and people are wondering, why is he so crazy like this, right? But it is to be able to really discover the best angle, the best light, everything about, you know, that we do as photographers. So talk to us a little bit about how you've come up with these little tricks for photographers for in terms of posing or with lighting. What have, what have you done? Is it mostly trial and error or is it if you learned it from somebody else yeah i mean i think a lot of it's my own trial and error um it's just it's the way that that i've kind of built my business unfortunately i wish i had a course like this when i was starting out because it would have saved me a lot of time but i'm sure i think a lot of it's just i just wanted to find um different ways to accomplish you know traditional methods so for example Um, a traditional pose for a woman might be creating an S curve. So how can you create that shape without, you know, explicitly saying that? And so that's where the walking techniques come in because they just naturally um, instigate those poses. So, um, so many of the courses have that kind of mentality where it's like, how can you, you know, accomplish what you're trying to, but without directly saying it. Right. Awesome. Hey, one of the things I've also noticed about uh, your website and your course is that, uh, you know, obviously it's meant for portrait photographers. And I've asked you whether wedding photographers might might find some use to it. But there's there's a commercial aspect to it. You know, there is a there is the obvious, you know, application of using these techniques uh, at a at a corporate event or a corporate setting uh what would you tell somebody who's looking at this uh as as a product or a resource to learn from uh how would you how would you sort of couch it to that particular uh niche of photography yeah i mean i think what we're finding as photographers is that our clients are being inundated with commercial work i mean they they follow those brands on instagram and they follow and they see that kind of work and so i think whether they realize it or not they secretly want that and so i think we've seen that um very much in the high school senior realm you know your high school senior wants to look and feel like a model and so a lot of senior photographers have harnessed that kind of brand and so i think the same can be applied to whether it's commercial work or corporate work or or any other you know kind of subgenres of portraits awesome uh, talk to us a little bit about your marketing, uh, uh, you know, acumen. I mean, you uh, your fr- your first course that I actually came in contact with was all about uh, you know working with Facebook and Instagram. Um, what has changed in those social media platforms for you? Have you updated that section of this course? Yeah, I've actually expanded a lot on how the Facebook and Instagram ads are really playing a part along with the other social media pieces. And so I think as photographers, we're starting to realize that we're turning a little bit more into a media company instead of just strictly being photographers. And so, um, you know, we've seen this since the last time we talked, there's Instagram stories now, which didn't exist a couple months ago. Um, And so what I love about um, the marketing course is that I actually included a lot of information about disappearing stories and how that's going to become relevant and useful. And um, now that Instagram stories are here, you know, that's going to play a huge part in, you know, kind of alongside with the paid marketing. So um, if anything, I'm actually excited that the marketing course is more relevant now than it was a year ago, which is which is awesome. Um, Mario, I'm going to throw you a curveball, man. Uh, You just said something here that that sort of triggered this question. You said uh, you've actually changed the course from what what it was before to what it is now, thanks to the changes that you've seen in the in the platforms. How uh, how often do you expect to change the courses or the course material in the Modern Portraits Master Course? I mean, is this something that you're going to keep evolving, or is it just something that's a one off and you're done? What is it? What's your what are your plans? I would love to. I think. Um... A lot of the marketing course is, is foundational. And so I think a lot of it talks about how a photographer needs to um, create their brand and kind of their presence. So, you know, the the when I created the marketing course, it started off, um, you know, the social side included a Snapchat um, part. And so it was like, here's how you can use Snapchat. Well, because so much of that is foundational, a lot of that actually just straight applies to Instagram stories. And so um, I'm definitely keeping the marketing course updated if um Facebook changes their pages or changes um, their process in which ads are created, I definitely, you know, 
it, I have to call it mo- modern marketing. So if the course gets outdated, it's not going to live up to its name. That's um, right. But luckily, luckily, a lot of it is um, more on the foundational side. And so I really wanted to drive home kind of the, the behind the scene process and whether it's Facebook or Instagram or if the new social media platform comes out tomorrow, I want that course to still be extremely relevant. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. Um, you know, as, as somebody who's going to invest a couple of hundred dollars uh, at, in a course, I want to know that somebody who's creating the course is actually going to keep things somewhat relevant and somewhat new and fresh all the time. Um, because once and done courses are no longer, you know, useful for anybody, really. Um, yep. Talk to us about the course itself. I mean, if you were to, if you if you weren't the one who actually put this course together and you were coming at it from outside and you said, hey, you know, I'm I'm interested in portraits, you know, why would I want to buy this course? What is it that really kicks ass about this course? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think the course, um, first of all, the course, you know, on uh, a numbers level, the course is about 189 pages and has about two and a half hours of video. And so I wanted it to be comprehensive enough to where somebody getting it is really going to get a lot out of it. But I didn't want it to be so overwhelming where they feel like they have to invest a full week, you know, just day after day to really get the content Mm -hmm. out of it. So I've seen a lot of courses where there's a lot of fluff around it. And so my goal was to really create something that was just extremely concise and, and easy to understand. So, um, with that said, yeah, I, I just I didn't want to waste people's time. I think that was my biggest thing is I wanted to be able to give actionable techniques and tips and foundations just right off the bat. Awesome. Um, another curveball to you because I didn't think I don't think I saw this on your website, but a lot of people who have courses will do this. They'll have a, a Facebook community that they're actually going to open up, um, obviously only for the folks who've bought the course and give everybody an opportunity to ask questions to, with each other or discuss certain issues. Is that something you're planning on doing or is that, is that something that uh, I'd love to have? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm looking into it right now. Um, I'm focusing a little bit more on the one-on-one with the people who are purchasing the course. And awesome. so, um, I'm kind of Gary Vayner checking it, so to speak, and I really want to work with people um, and photographers directly. So I love the communal aspect, and I think it's a great idea. But um, kind of right now, as I as I grow a little bit into the sessions brand, um, I want to work with photographers one on one and and really just kind of maintain that that personal relationship. So I don't think uh, a community is out of the question, but it's not um, currently in the near future. Awesome. So give us an idea as to how you, you, how are you working with people one-on-one? I mean, if you're providing them a course, are you able to follow up with them in some way or what, what exactly do yeah. you have planned? Yeah. A lot of it is um, just, you know, with the course, I want to maintain that, that open line of communication. And so I don't want them, um, I don't want photographers to feel like they buy the course and can't reach out if they have a question or um, if something's unclear. So a lot of it is, um, just me wanting to just keep in touch. And, and I think my ultimate goal is to help as many photographers as possible. So um, I think the course is a great start for that. But I also don't, you know, want them to be afraid to reach out or feel like they're they're bugging me or anything like that. So um, yeah, my, my 2017 goal is definitely just to help as many photographers as possible. Awesome. Well, hey, uh, Happy New Year to you. I don't know when this is going to come out, but <laughs> I would love to thank you for your time to talk about your new course, The Modern Portraits Master Course. Uh, we've been talking to it with Mario Massetti, who's a Southern California photographer. I'm jealous as hell with you right now, man, because it's 20 degrees outside where I am, and I know you're on the beach. I mean, really, come on, please. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, 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 heading, I'm heading there right after. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for telling us a little bit about your course. I know uh, as a portrait photographer, I'm always constantly looking for ways to improve what I can provide for my clients uh, all the time. I want I want the the best for my clients. And the only way you can do that is you constantly are on the lookout for great courses, great opportunities to learn. And this is what you're going to do with this course. Um, um, I can say this because I've seen part of it. I haven't seen the whole thing yet. Uh, I've seen part of it. And, you know, as, I, as we've already discussed, Mario isn't somebody who's going to lay off and just say, hey, so buy the course and bye-bye. You know, it's, it's all about really helping photographers grow and be better photographers. Right. And in 2017, it's coming up couple of weeks from now, big things can happen, but you got to make the move. All right. Take care, buddy. Thanks a lot.
Thanks, Ben. Take care.